wind come through and just knocked everything down. The hail was horrible. It was really bad. Really? How big was the hail? Uh, about that big. Did your house get damaged? No, our power's out. Yeah. But there's houses damaged back there. We gotta get this now so things start putting poles down. Right. This this pole, the next pole, there's at least three poles down. Because that's the one that supplies all the power all the way up through there. You got about ten what ten twelve transformers yeah. up in there, and that's the main one right there. Okay. We got a call approximately 45 minutes to an hour ago of a, some trees down on Ross Campground Road by our central dispatch. Arrived on the scene to find uh, a large area that had been hit by looked what appeared to be downdraft winds. We've got about a mile and a half, two mile stretch of Ross Campground that has uh, uh, 20 to 30 trees down, uh, three power poles are broke completely in two, power lines are down. We've got about uh, 20 to 25 residents back in here. We're having to go door to door to make sure they're okay. We've had EMS respond to one that had no oxygen for the machine. We've got some that's on heart monitors that we're working with right now. We're going back to our command post, which is set up here at the church, and get a plan together what we're going to do. We may even go as far as having to do an evacuation out of these people and put them in a place to stay. Well, I reckon it was just a big, huge, uh, I guess, storm come yeah. through, about like a tornado, just real strong wind. I reckon it just uh, blew this big, huge tree over, and it kind of went like dominoes after that. Yeah. tree landed on my brother's car. Um, and there's a bunch of stuff uprooted in our yard. Yeah. Um, and our power lines were jerked out of our house. Mm. So we're waiting on that. So we probably won't have power for quite a while. Yeah. Straight toward us, right? Okay. All righty. We're going to pull everybody out and pull them back down here. Uh, and get them out here for now. I don't know what these people's going to do back here about their houses. They're going to start leaking, I'm sure. Okay. All right. Thank you. Jefferson and they headed straight towards us. We got another one that's in Jefferson and Cock County coming straight at us. Right. Jefferson and Cock coming straight at us. We've not had any injuries reported at this time. We just oh, got a lot of structural damage. Road we road have road one road house road. near the end back here that their entire roof uh, was uh, lifted off of their house and set back down off of the post on their porch. Uh, we're probably looking at getting them out uh, tonight anyway. Yeah. Is there going to be a shelter set up? Uh, that's what we're going back down now to make a decision after we survey the damage here.